it has always been their main target not to harm civilians. So you have many instances where they had to kill themselves so that the civilians that were uh, uh, in their uh, hostages, for example, were not going to be harmed whatsoever. So it is very different from what we hear in the media, and it is very different from, let's say, Al Qaeda and all these uh, groups where their major concern is to harm as many people. Mm -hmm. Here, the major concern was to attract as much attention from the media. But then in the late 80s, if you've noticed in history, the Japanese Red Army ceases to do any kind of uh, armed struggle out uh, at this time. The reason for this, and this is kind of internal uh, information at the time, was because they shifted. They thought that it, uh, doing armed struggle for them, at, at least, they supported for the Palestinians, for liberation, everything. But they thought that once they are doing hijacking and all that, even though they, they are attracting attention, but unfortunately, most of the time it is being framed in a negative way.